It's Bria here. I'm here at the East Ferris Public Library for part one of our field journal making project. Some of you might be wondering, well, what is a field journal? A field journal is a type of book. There are two types of books. There's a fiction book or a non-fiction book. A fiction book is all about things that are made up. A non-fiction book is all about things that are real. We're going to be making a field journal, which is a non-fiction book. A field journal is all about information and things that we find out in nature. So in your field journal, you might talk about birds or bugs, trees, plants. Maybe we'll talk about the weather or the sunshine. Our field journal is going to be full of lots of things we can find outside, out in nature. The first part we need for our field journal is something to keep all the pages in. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to make the outside cover of our field journal. It has a front, a back, and a spine, just like a real book. Inside it has string for us to tie all our pages in. This is how we're going to make the spine of our field journal. All right, everyone. This is how I'm going to make the cover for our field journal. I found a piece of cardboard. It's pretty big. It's about the size of a book, so it'll be perfect once we fold it in half. Then I cut two more strips of cardboard the same length so that I can glue them on for the spine. My hot glue gun is all heated up and ready to go. If you're using a hot glue gun, be very, very careful. You could also use a glue stick if you wanted to be a little bit more careful or if you don't have someone helping you out. I have my glue gun out because, like we said before, I'm gluing on this part, which is the spine of the book. But before I glue it on, I'm going to take it off and I cut a bunch of string. I cut all this string for a reason, and it's to tie in our pages. It's the length of the book twice. There's a little tiny bit more so that I have room to tie in my pages. So I'm going to lay my string over like this. And then I'll put this over top. So I'll hot glue in my string and then I'll glue this on top of it. I'm going to do much more than one string. I'll probably have about 10 because I want 10 pages in my book. Just like how in a book here, when you look in library books, if you go home and you open a book, you'll see there's a part here where all the pages are glued together. And that's called the spine of a book. So right now we're making the spine of our very own books. Here's all the strings glued in. I glued in, it looks like four, but it's actually two, four, six, eight. I put a little spot of glue all the way down. I'm gonna let that cool. Then I'm going to take this, I'm gonna glue it over top. Here's my spine label. It's all finished. I added quite a few things on it. Now I'm going to turn my book inside up. I'm going to fold the two covers, front and back. I'm going to do quite a bit of pressing really hard to give it a seam. That's what my field guide is going to look like. Hey everyone, this is what our field journal looks like so far. In our next video, we'll talk about what we're going to put on the cover, and we're going to talk about a table of contents to put in the front. Bye everyone, happy crafting, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!